What is up? Good morning. Day. It might not be morning for you, but this is day 73. Thanks for hanging. We're almost three quarters of the way there. 200. That's amazing. I'm still doing a thing. I haven't posted in a while. I'm still recording though, so I can get a bunch of these scheduled as soon as I take some time to do this. Maybe I can do that this weekend while I'm hanging out with family. Come on, car. You know how to drive. Typically, I don't start this before I get on the on-ramp, but today I was waiting, so we started this. It was good. It was good. Let's see. So today was an upper body day. It went really well. I had pendulet rows, which you deficit, pendulet deficit rows, where you lean over and you have a barbell and you row it. So you pull it up towards your chest, but your body, your torso is perpendicular, or excuse me, parallel to the ground. So I try to do that in a way that my shoulders are up, my chest is up, my head is up. So I'm not putting curved strain on my lower back because sometimes that can tweak the lower back if if I'm doing that incorrectly. So I did that well and I use straps for it too because it puts a little strain on the forearm and I don't want that forearm strain. So we did that today and it turned out pretty well. It's still a little forearm strain to the point where I'm going to maybe consider some BPC-157 which stands for Body Protective Compound 157. I think it's a thing you naturally produce, but it's been synthesized or formulaized or whatever. And my doc has shared like, you know, injectable, like information about the injectable one. But other people were talking about just an oral one, which obviously would work all over your body. But the oral one would be general and not targeted. So I don't know if that would be quite as effective. Like, I feel that... I think that the injectable one would be more effective, but also the idea of like injecting it in my muscle, like I've never done anything like that before. So don't know how that'll go. Also, I apparently forgot my testosterone this morning. Come on, man. So I guess I'll hit it up tonight. I'll, I'll likely be fine. Should be all right. I won't die. I'm not gonna die because I didn't have my testosterone. Still the workout was good. Had a busy day at work. A lot of meetings. So I don't have a lot of time to do things, unfortunately. So tomorrow's going to have to be a big get things done day. But yeah, I'm always, I'm always, so just kind of a tangent to philosophy and communication. There's, when you're communicating with somebody, there's always two sides to everything. Your side, their side, well, three sides and the truth. But it's interesting because like who has responsibility for somebody's feelings? I mean, certainly we have responsibility for our own feelings to some degree. But then we also have responsibility for how others take what we do. So, you know, we want to communicate or put ourselves out there in a way that communicates probably positively, lovingly, magnanimously to those we communicate with, right? And so if somebody, for instance, gets mad because of your discussion, like whose responsibility is it? And that that happened this morning, but it also happened with a friend who kind of gets mad at everybody. So they shared with me too, like, Hey, you really make my blood boil. Or you really made my blood boil this morning. And so I'm trying to think like, what is the most charitable way to respond? What is the most charitable way to respond? And certainly I have some responsibility because I'm in a conversation. So there's two of us. So I have some responsibility and I want to reflect more on that. But also this is a person who gets angry at everybody who gets angry and argues with everybody. So What is a charitable way to share that? You know, and especially I think about my kids, like what is a charitable way to speak to them? And I'm in an authority with them. I'm not in an authority with this friend. So that message has to be changed and modified so that it comes from a friend. So I have to think a little bit more about that and how that can come across and how I should communicate that message while also at the same time reflecting on whatever responsibility I had in the situation. So that's something I'm going to do. Maybe I'll report back tomorrow, let you know how it goes. But as a friend, you want, you know, potentially, or, or, I mean, I'll just say we have a responsibility to be helpful to our friends, to be charitable, certainly and loving, but to challenge them and to help them to be better. So this might be an opportunity for that. We'll see.
like I said, I'll, I'll keep you posted. This is day 73. I'll let you know on day 74 how that goes. So, all right. Well, I mean, we got real philosophical, so we'll leave it at that today. Day 73. Thanks for hanging. Please do like, subscribe, hit the bell, follow, do all the things, comment. What is it? Stitch? I don't know. Lilo and Stitch. Or hello means family. Family means knowing that's lost or left behind. All right. Do good, be great. See you next time. Sayonara. Bye.